What's going on everybody and welcome back to your stop for all things theme park and attraction related. If you guys are new here, make sure you're subscribed with those bell notifications on. Check us out on both Instagram and on Twitter at SoCal Explorer Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. If you want to help out the channel further, you can do so by a couple ways. Purchase some of our official SoCal Explorer merchandise down below in the description. We also have Horror Nights and scripted merchandise. If you guys listen to our Halloween Horror Nights theme podcast, I'll link down below in the description or you can donate to our Buy Me coffee page buymecoffee.com slash socal exploring to help us produce higher quality theme park content for you all to enjoy before this video gets started as always with halloween hornets videos i like to put out there that these speculation videos are just based off of my opinions based off of rumors based off of realistic facts that are known to the public already so please if you disagree with them try to be positive down in the comments section and we don't like to bring negativity onto this channel we always like to keep it positive for the most part i'm just here to speculate and have fun Anyways, yes, like I said, a Halloween Horror Nights speculation video. Halloween Horror Nights 2021, and I was going to make the Orlando one first since there's a lot more going on in the Orlando speculating realm, but I figured you Hollywood fans need a speculation. As we know, for California, it's been rough, and we need something to look forward to. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about all the rumors surrounding Hollywood, um, the possibility of stuff coming back, what I think's gonna be coming back, what I think could get replaced, stuff like that. And many times you'll often find that I'm referencing the HN Nightmares speculation map from last speculating season. If you guys don't know who HN Nightmares is, they're a great account who are always putting out these speculation maps who are actually scary accurate most of the time. So we're gonna be basing all, for all of our topics and rumors based off of their map. Properties included on their map include The Invisible Man, Universal Monsters, The Bride of Frankenstein, Beetlejuice, Billy Eilish, The Haunting of Hill House, and of course the Texas chainsaw massacre now right off the bat with the rumors of the billy eilish house already getting taken down in orlando i don't think that we're going to be getting billy eilish this year the invisible man i think was just wrong i think that was probably just like one of those ones that they're kind of tossing around with i don't think that the invisible man is coming next year or this year at all in specific texas chainsaw massacre i think has a 50 50 chance of coming the haunting of hill house i think will most likely stay and of course beetlejuice since we did get confirmation that it opened up in orlando last year for their couple days then i think that we are definitely going to be getting to see beetlejuice in a maze experience oh and of course universal monsters i think universal monsters will stay this year i just think it'll be based off of something different since we did see the bride at orlando i don't think that you know it, it depends it depends because we we did Universal Monsters obviously with all the classic monsters in 2018 and then Orlando got it in 2019 so who knows maybe it'll be like the same thing but instead Orlando got the brides first and now we're going to be getting the brides. I like to see them do a different take on you know maybe the creature from the Black Lagoon as I've been saying for the past couple years I'd love to see that in a maze. But who knows really and we do know one thing for sure actually we don't know for sure because last year it was said that the Walking Dead attraction was going to be featured at Halloween Horror Nights. And that is because Walking Dead obviously closed last year permanently, the daytime attraction. But a spokesperson for Universal actually came out and said that they were going to be using it for that year. So whether or not they're going to be using it for this year, I do think that it does have a chance of coming back just to get lines in, especially now with COVID and everything. Maybe they want to have more crowd, more spaces for crowds to go and spread out compared to just all bunching in to say like three mazes so right now my best guess for properties that are absolutely for the most part locked down for halloween hornets in hollywood this year is texas chainsaw massacre obviously they can just reuse some props and stuff like that um the haunting of hill house and of course Beetlejuice and Universal Monsters, whatever it's based off of. As far as all the other properties and stuff, I don't know. I would love to see them do a couple original mazes this year. Maybe one based off of All Hallows Eve, you know, the scare zone that we got in 2019. And man, it feels so weird to say, oh, the scare zone that we got in 2019. That was so long ago. Like the fact that we didn't have an event in 2020 is just weird, you know? Scare zones, I'm sure, aren't set at all. I'm sure that's going to be a, you know, within a, a three month decision for Universal Creative on what they're going to do for scare zones. And the Jabwalkies, of course, I think will come back. I think for sure the Jabwalkies will come back. 
There's no doubt about it. They're, they will always come back until they develop a brand new show, which I don't think will be anytime soon. One thing I want to throw out there is I think that Terratram could come back, especially with COVID times. And we'll get into COVID and all of that in a, a couple minutes. But I think that Terratram could come back. It could be based off of, I don't know, just any property out there. We have the Forever Purge coming out. It could be based off the Forever Purge. You know, who knows? The Forever Purge is the final uh, movie for the Purge series. It's going to be, as far as I know, the plot is going to be based off of what happens to the people who purge after the designated time that all crime is legal. So yes, even though we've seen the Purge a million times, if it's going to get crowds to go to the Terra Tram, I definitely think that's a plus. And honestly, even though the Terra Tram's not that great in my personal opinion, well, certain years were better than the others. Hollywood Harry had to be the best year of the Terra Tram by far. But I do miss it. I miss that that was exclusively Hollywood's thing, you know? We always had something to hold on to here in Hollywood that was exclusive to us. Orlando didn't get it. The other international events that did it didn't get it. We had Terra Tram, and that was our thing. And I miss it. I truly do miss it. I miss driving down there and it being all eerie and they're playing audio based off of whatever the story is on the tram tv screens and then us getting down the chainsaw chasing after us i miss that feeling so do i think it has a big potential to come back yeah i think so i think that terra tram was never written off as it's never coming back i think it was just taking a break other properties that I think could come is Halloween 2018, a property that a lot of HHN fans want to see, especially since they can continue on the trilogy where they have Halloween Kills coming out this year and of course the third Halloween movie from the trilogy and they could do that in an HHN maze somewhere later down the way but we could have Halloween Kills next year for 2022, you know, just continue that series on. Another property that I wanted to throw out there is of course one that I'm sure a lot of you guys aren't happy with and I'm sure a lot of you guys are happy with is Stranger Things of course. The fourth season. Um, we could get the fourth season. Who knows? Netflix and Halloween Horror Nights have a good relationship going on. So I would like to see Stranger Things 4, maybe a full on Stranger Things 3 maze. Stranger Things 2, in Hollywood at least, wasn't that great, but I think that John Murdy can redeem himself and execute a beautiful detailed maze. But let's get in to the sad part of this. The sad part of speculating season and the unknown right now, and that is the potential of Halloween Hornets getting postponed, minimized, or just flat out canceled again this year. The COVID-19 vaccine has been being distributed to Americans across the country right now. So once for the most part, it's more accessible to everybody in the country. I feel like stuff will start to slowly reopen again. Theme price can finally reopen. But the big question is, is like, what is the future of Halloween Horror Nights? Because as we know last year, the theme parks in Orlando opened up in June for Universal at least, and they still had to cancel Halloween Horror Nights. However, they did provide us with the tribute store, obviously the two daytime houses and then the one at the very end in Beetlejuice, and I was lucky enough to check out both Universal Monsters The Bride of Frankenstein Lives and Revenge of the Tooth Fairy, and I must say, it was a short line every time, it was super easy, super quick, I felt safe because there's plexiglass in front of the characters, and you know, the plexiglass didn't defeat the scares at all, if anything, in some scares it worked out better to have plexiglass there. When the topic of Halloween Hornets in Hollywood getting cancelled this year comes up to that, I say, I'd say it's about a 50-50 chance. And that's all I'm gonna say. But honestly, what I think is gonna happen this year, about 80% sure it will happen, is that we're just gonna have a scaled down event. Projects like Super Nintendo World are getting funded right now, and they're not making any money. Like, they're making money off City Walk, but they're not making money like Knott's Berry Farm's making with their tasting events, or Downtown Disney's making with everybody going in there and buying all their stuff, or Six Flags Magic Mountain, where they're making money off their holiday drive through event. Universal's not doing that. They're just making money off of City Walk, and for the most part, City Walk has third-party vendors, which they're only getting a percentage of. So with the budget of Halloween Hornets this year, I think it'll be super small. Now what I would think is best for HHN to do this year is to have like say five mazes or six mazes with super super detailed mazes though. 
you know, I'd be fine with giving up the nine mazes or the 10 mazes and plus the terror tram. I'd be fine with giving that up if we're gonna get, you know, beautiful detail in a maze like with the same atmosphere and level of detail as Universal Monsters was or Killer Clowns from Outer Space was. And I think personally, it'd make the fans a little bit more happier. Or they could go the route of having two soundstage mazes open for the daytime experience where they have it accessible to everyone who buys the ticket to just normal Universal Studios Hollywood and it's two heavy hitter properties in two sound stages. With Hollywood it's a little bit more difficult to get sound stages so maybe they put two in like two maze experiences in 29 right next to Transformers. I think that would work out then they'd have to find a different queue section because they'd have to use that entire soundstage instead of using some of the soundstage for the maze and some of the soundstage for the queue so maybe use some of the transformers queue and some of the studio cafe seating area because super nintendo world completely wiped out the transformers extended queue so that's no longer available i don't know i'm just brainstorming ideas right now and kind of speculating what they could do and if it will be safe or not i think that they can run the event safe from experiencing orlando's when we didn't have a vaccine i felt very safe all the team members were doing really good and i think that they could do just as good in hollywood so cross our fingers that the event doesn't get cancelled this year in Hollywood, it would suck to not have Halloween Horror Nights two years in a row, but at the end of the day, Universal's got to make that decision. I'm just hoping that we get something like I was describing, where it's just a scaled down event, but with extremely detailed mazes and immersive mazes, and their heavy hitting properties, and not just reused properties like Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Walking Dead. But that's just my personal opinion. I want to know what you guys think down below in the comments section. What are your early speculations for Halloween Horror Nights this year? Do you agree with my speculation? Uh, what do you think properties could come? All that fun stuff, leave it in the comments section down below. My name is Scott, and you've been watching SoCal Exploring, Positivity is Key, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody. Bye, everybody.